the crazy techniques used by gigantic ships to fight pirates. Pirate attacks on ships and water vessels are as real as day, and we are not talking about some 500 years ago. In fact, the year 2020 saw pirate attacks jump to a global high of 20%. That means one out of every five ships on the waterways is bound to be attacked by pirates. So yeah, piracy on waterways is a real problem. But what is the solution? How do crew members on ships avoid them or even combat them if they have to? Stay with us in this video to find out as we take you through the crazy techniques gigantic ships use to fight pirates in the middle of the ocean. When you hear pirates, you probably picture some Pirates of the Caribbean looking group of men, or Johnny Depp himself. Maybe you even imagine the legend of Sinbad and his crew sailing to the ends of the earth. You won't be wrong to picture that, but you won't be right either. Modern day pirates are not half as aesthetically pleasing as movies portray them, and they sure aren't legends. These pirates attack huge container vessels from their small boats, and it's sometimes an easy task for them. That's because most container ships are not armed so the gangs coordinate strategically to onboard a ship. Most crew members under attack resolve to lock themselves up in a citadel and watch as the pirates loot the ship and eventually disperse. But even that is not a safe bet, at least not statistically. The numbers have it that yearly, about 200 pirate attacks occur and about 150 crew members get kidnapped annually. Some modern-day pirates aren't even after cargo anymore. They just attempt to take hostages when they succeed in getting access to vessels. Then they negotiate high ransoms with families and shipping companies to release the hostages. For both cargo looting and hostage situations, piracy costs the global economy billions of dollars annually. If the numbers signify anything, it's that the crew members need to find better ways to combat the pirate threats. That's why there are now some crazy techniques being used on most ships to face off against pirates. Trust us, some of these techniques sound almost sci-fi, but they are as real as the back of your hands. So get ready for a crazy cruise. The first of these techniques involve the use of sonic weapons, more commonly the Long Range Acoustic Device, LRAD. This device is a non-lethal anti-piracy device that produces pain-inducing sound beams to drive away pirates. The LARD is capable of emitting 151 dB sound and can do so within 30 degrees of wherever the device is pointing. Not only does the device produce high-pitched noises way higher than the tolerance level of an average human being, but it can actually cause permanent ear damage. The thing with the LRAD is that it helps to keep lethal measures like machine guns and other weapons at bay. You're probably wondering why you would not want to get lethal with the pirates who are after your safety. Easy. Remember, the ships under attack are mostly cargo ships, meaning they'll have a lot of valuable goods being transported on them. Any lethal combat between crew and pirates will likely damage some of the cargo on board, which isn't good for business. So an American tech company brought up the idea of these sonic devices, which are typically used in the military. Given that the LRADs weigh 210 kilograms and have a range of about 300 to 500 meters, they can also issue a verbal challenge. This means that the devices can be used to sound warnings to possible gangs around without even engaging them. The sound also serves as warnings to other cargo ships of the presence of militants on the waterways, or sometimes a cry for help. The first successful use of LRAD came in November 2005 to foil a pirate attack on a seaborne cruise line luxury cruise off the Somali coast. Since then, more companies have begun to apply these devices on their vessels, and it remains one of the most effective techniques to use. Another technique being used by gigantic ships and vessels to fight modern-day pirates are anti-piracy laser device and active denial system. The two go together because they are both optical weapons, and boy oh boy, are they effective. The anti-piracy laser device uses a non-lethal laser beam that provides a visual warning to pirates and also distracts them temporarily. The device was developed by a British firm called BAE Systems and can be used both during the day and at night. The way the laser works is this. The light coming out from the device is designed in a way that damages the eyes permanently when it comes in contact with the eyes. So crew members just direct the light at pirate ships to distract the pirates as they won't be able to look directly at the light. It's more of a warning device of some sort and could cover about 1.5 kilometers. In case a pirate wants to get smart and use regular sunglasses, spoiler alert, they don't help. It's really just either you row your boat away or risk the anti-piracy laser device causing permanent eye damage. But when this warning device doesn't get the job done, it enters the active denial system, ADS, known as the pain ray. If you can't tell, this weapon is known as the pain ray because it's lethal. It's an optical weapon that transmits a narrow beam of electromagnetic 
magnetic energy to heat the skin and penetrate beneath it to cause an unbearable burning sensation. It might not cause permanent damage, but the pirates don't know that, and the burning sensation is bad enough to make them run away or jump overboard. The technology of the pain ray was developed by the Air Force Research Laboratory and the Department of Defense's Joint Non-Lethal Weapons Directorate. It has cost the government over $40 million in the last decade, but it genuinely is a breakthrough tech. The millimeter wave electromagnetic energy is quite similar to the working principle of a microwave oven. There is also a gyrotone system that emits the waves at a certain frequency with the help of a reflector. The only downside of this technique is that it hasn't been fully tested with most ships, unlike other techniques in this video. But still, it's crazy. Moving on, we have yet another crazy technique, massive ocean vessels used to fight off pirates. This one is the most practical of them all and also possesses one of the most common defense systems used. It's the use of water cannons and hoses. We mean, what's a more practical way to fight criminals than the most sustainable resource on the waterway? Seawater. Water hoses are the simplest, most common, and probably the cheapest solution available for fighting off pirate attacks. The use of these water hoses enables crews to make boarding their ships difficult and nearly impossible for pirates creating slippery surfaces or pushing pirates from their boats. All it takes is the crew lining up on deck activating the large fire pumps in the engine room and using the pressurized seawater to knock pirates off boarding ladders. However, as common as this technique is, it isn't the most effective, particularly when the pirates pull up with 50 caliber machine guns. But water can't be defeated, at least not when you're in the middle of an ocean. So that's where the water cannons come in. These devices perform the same duties as the water hose, only at a way more effective force and without needing anyone to man them at least not physically. Water cannons shoot high-velocity streams of water, which are totally impenetrable. The water that comes out of these cannons is so strong that pirates can literally be hit off the ships they're trying to board. Water cannons can actually fill up enemy ships with water and decrease the ship's speed or disturb the maneuverability. One brand of these cannons is the Nosley SK of Victor, anti-piracy water cannon, which provides a powerful jet of water and a water mist. The Victor creates an effective water shield with tremendous visual presence, an inhospitable atmosphere, and immense physical force. There are so many pros to these nozzles. First, they don't require any extra pun capacity since they make use of existing ship's fire mains. Also, the Evictor is designed to operate autonomously and will function without the need for an operator once installed and connected to the water supply. Even the material used to design the nozzle is impressive. It uses a standard Nosley SK Bronze Pelton wheel to take fire water feed from the monitor inlet stand driving the oscillation. This wheel uses as little as 25 LPM of fire water at 7 bar and has a Y-type strainer fitted with a flushing valve to prevent blockage. Another highly recommended nozzle is the Scanjet SC360 APR, which is also a fixed installed or removable, self-operating, multi-nozzle machine driven by water flow. It consists of three main parts an anti-pirate water cannon gun unit, a turbine-powered drive unit, and a mounting rail bracket. Every important criterion from the pump capacity to the construction is evaluated before installation, and the SC360 APR also uses existing pumps on board the vessel. The SC360 APR requires no chemicals or steam additives and has no environmental impact. So all you need is some salt water and you're good to go. Since the ships are out on the sea, salt water is one thing they can never run out of. These scanjet anti-piracy nozzles even rotate 360 degrees in a continuous movement and restrict the water from being projected upwards to optimize the downward pressure. It has adjustable machine length and horizontal position, adjustable rotating speed, and can be used on any vessel, from inland tankers to crude oil characters and product carriers. If all these techniques don't quite do the trick for you, then you should check this next one out. It's the use of an electric secure fence and razor wire. Many ship owners and crew members are reluctant to use barbed wire or razor wire canisters as an anti-piracy system, and that is understandable given that the wire can cause injuries to crew members as much as it can to pirates. This method involves using blade wires as a wall or barrier between the ship and any form of trespassing, so someone came up with a brighter idea of using something along the same lines of barbed wire only this time, it's collapsible. That's where the electric secure fence system comes in. It consists of using an electric fence surrounding the entire ship shape to prevent pirates from coming on board. 
The system can also serve the purpose of warning the crew members of impending danger by starting a very loud siren and floodlights. It already sounds very similar to the barbed wire system, but this time, the fence is collapsible and can be brought down when not in use or needed. One thing about protection and self-defense from pirate attacks is that it has no limit, and the same can be said for these crazy techniques. Some ships make use of boat traps, which include using a ballistic net to stop the pirate boats as soon as they make their way near a cargo ship. The nets are kept in the water to ensnare the propellers of the boat so as to prevent the pirate vessel from moving forward. Others make use of a slippery foam or anti-traction material to make the deck or sides of a ship slippery to prevent pirates from climbing it. And these aren't even all. There's the use of foul-smelling liquid with a burning sensation to repel pirates, Japanese anti-piracy curtains, Molotov cocktails, a host of different grenades, and even teasers. Pirates really have forced the hands of companies and governments with massive ships, hence these crazy techniques to combat and defend precious cargo. Which of these do you find the craziest? Let us know in the comments section. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and enjoy our other videos.